Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and boy oh boy, Mattel fans can eat good this summer with not only the Barbie movie coming out but also now the whole collection. Well not the whole collection, we'll get into that, but the first half of the collection has finally officially dropped by Mattel. So let's get into it. So on June 1st, we got the full reveal, official reveal announcement from the Barbie movie account, the Barbie account, Mattel's account, you know, all the accounts on Instagram for these brand new dolls, part of the Barbie movie. Uh, we had previously seen leaks, you know, and I was in previous videos, I was not able to show anything and it was, it was just not the same. But here, finally, we're going to be able to take a look all together at these gorgeous dolls that are going to be available at major retailers you know target walmart amazon mattel creations um and there are going to be a couple of retailer retailer exclusives as well so that'll be a thing unfortunately but overall i mean there's nine dolls so far that have been revealed and there's going to be more for sure that will get revealed as the movie comes out i'm also 100 percent uh counting on um and we also have a fashion fashion packs and we we have a car so let's get into all the listings so here on Mattel creations we can see the you know official page for all things the Barbie movie as we scroll down here we can see all of the dolls and the Mattel creations exclusive doll is the Simu Liu Ken doll in the dance the night, dance the night away outfit um, and then all the rest are not exclusives but you can still purchase them um, here on Mattel creations and then obviously we can see other merch like the mega blocks places and there's even like a little people a set of four uh figures I, I never knew that they were like a hot seller little people figures but okay um and then here's the actual dolls and yes yes most of these dolls cost 50. there's nine dolls out of these nine dolls um seven cost 50. And then two of them cost 25, which are the perfect day Ken and Barbie dolls, basically the Ken beach looks, you know, they also have smaller packaging. So seven dolls, $50, two dolls, $25. Um, the fashion pack costs 50 as well. The convertible Corvette car costs 75 or something. And, uh, for, if you, if you want to get all the dolls plus the fashion pack, it'll cost like 500 and then with the convertible car it'll cost you like almost 600 so and that's if you live in the us if you're an international fan like me girl it will cost you even more because we will have to buy these things on amazon and i've checked on amazon and even if even if it's not on amazon due to shipping and stuff like that it'll it'll just go up naturally <laughs> it'll just it'll you will pay more just by default so on amazon the prices are even worse all of these dolls cost like 60 on Amazon, which cost 50 here in the US. Um, so basically what I'm saying is get ready to spend a lot of money. <laughs> and if you don't have money, then get ready to, you know, donate your kidneys. Because girl, <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, this is like next level um, expensive. It's one doll, $50 insane oh my god let's go over each doll individually first and maybe then we'll see at the end if it's really worth the price so first up let's go over the two dolls that we already got to see so much of already which are the perfect day barbie and ken doll so here's the barbie one she is described as barbie in pink gingham dress and there's no actual title for the outfit but i mean we all know her as perfect day barbie so she costs 25 us dollars and she does have a smaller box um and she does not include a doll stand and she has you know the five basic points of articulation and you know she's basically wearing the outfit that we all saw in the movie minus um the petticoat underneath which we did see in the teaser trailer and here she's just wearing a very plain dress but it's still really cute and i still think she's like one of the more like iconic outfits from this collection and here we have the ken per perfect day doll he is wearing a matching uh shirt and shorts set 
you know, be, it's like a beach look basically. Uh, and he also includes a little surfboard, little, you, you know, little um, paddling. I don't know. It's like a board. Yeah. Uh, there's little foot tolls as well. So you can actually make him stand up. It really looks adorable. He looks really fun. <laughs> it looks like a really fun doll. Um, and uh, he also does not include a, you know, stand um and he's also priced at 25 us dollars so these two dolls are the cheapest ones so if you want to go for like a minimalist cheapest version of what you can get from a collection then you know these two are the way to go because together for these two dolls ideally you will you will pay 50 dollars which is the price of one doll as we'll see with this first one here this one she's a new doll she is called the barbie and plaid matching set doll and uh, i think she's supposed to be the Return to Barbie Land doll, like the outfit at the end of the movie, perhaps. Uh, but I don't know. She looks amazing. That's all I know. She looks stunning. I love this matching two piece, um, the the jacket, the hat, which is fabric. I, I love how you know you can actually feel like there's texture on her jacket. There's like an ongoing um, you know print, which just looks seamlessly with all the different pieces she's wearing. Uh, and then also she's actually wearing a petticoat underneath. We're not like a petticoat, but like she she definitely has some like kind of like um tool layering underneath her her s skirt or is it a dress i'm not sure um and it makes the that that the bottom piece look fuller which is really cute um so if we i just love this fit it looks so cute the heels it's very simple but it's so barbie and um she's definitely one of my favorites and yeah she this one for instance she cost we're getting two of the dolls now that cost 50 us dollars so she cost 50. this <laughs> next doll she's arguably the most iconic one from the entire collection and also she probably just has the most iconic outfit from the movie it's the barbie in pink western outfit or better known as the barbie western star doll and she's already sold out on mattel creations so she's definitely going to be the best seller of the collection she's just yeah no she definitely she just looks amazing um i love the pants the the detail the the top the hat you know uh it looks like she's not wearing a lot and that's because she's not wearing a lot to be fair um but the what she is wearing you can just tell that they 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 you they kind of use like good fabrics here with the top and the bottoms and like they actually made sure to make it look like the outfit in front the movie um like all the buttons all the little appliques with the stars at the the bell bottoms like right even the shoes um the hat uh it is very accurate it's so accurate and it looks amazing she's my favorite so far next we actually have a new doll that we hadn't seen before it's the ken doll wearing the denim matching set it's the also the uh first shot where we got where, where we got to see ryan gosling as ken in that you know picture where he was wearing this same outfit i'm not sure if it actually appears in the movie i think it does obviously but uh so far we haven't seen it in any of the you know teasers or trailers so maybe it'll be more like at the end who knows but it looks amazing here i'm assuming that the actual fabric here is denim and that's why it does look a little boxy around the shoulders um my main issue here is that it just looks too big for him <laughs> like it just looks too boxy on him i wish it was smaller or just fit better around the shoulders it wouldn't be as wide or something but otherwise i think it looks really good it looks very accurate the buttons the details and also i mean the highlight obviously is the underwear with the actual you know calvin klein knockoff where ken writing you know it looks amazing so it's, it's gonna be so fun you know and he also has a side glance which is really unique to his doll this doll specifically next so. we have Issa ray's barbie president barbie in a pink and gold dress and she also retails at 50 and i forgot to mention but all the dolls now that retail at 50 us dollars will include a doll stand and the base of the stand will have a different shade you know depending on the doll some of them have pink white or gold bases it's really different so with this doll um initially i thought she had made to move articulation but she was also the same price like the other dolls but then i realized it's actually not made to move articulation it just looks that way because of the elbow joint which is more made to move than the other articulation but the rest of her articulation is actually not made to move like as we can see on the shoulder you know there's no like swivel so it's not made to move the i believe this is the body that they also use for laverne cox's 
Barbie doll and that's why we can see the same kind of like arm definition right there it's a unique mold that they've used a couple times I'm not sure but this is definitely not the you know regular Barbie um, body that we've seen because obviously it looks different and the elbow joint is made to move so there's a difference here for whatever reason but um it's very small so I guess at least she has more elbow articulation <laughs> I don't know, it's very random, um, but I think the actual doll looks really sweet. I love the ball gown, I love the face actually, um, and I think she's uh, also going to be one of the um, better sellers just because she is like a, she's a president, but she's also giving like princes. You Next, know? we have another new doll that we hadn't seen leaked before. It's the Gloria character doll wearing the pink power pantsuit. Now, Gloria character is a human in the movie and she is played by America Ferreira. And you can actually tell that she looks like the actress a little bit. So with Issa Rae's doll that we just saw, you can kind of see Issa Rae. Like you can kind of see like they took a couple of features perhaps perhaps and like enlarged them and made made her look more Barbie-like Barbie and um, we'll get to see Malio uh, in a second but I think out of all the dolls so far Gloria this doll definitely looks the most like the actress it just looks more realistic and it's, it makes sense it, it's very fitting because she is a human character in the movie she's not a Barbie or a Ken character so it actually makes sense it's really very clever that they actually made her look more realistic with the face proportions like the eyes are not as big because obviously she's not a barbie or a ken in the movie so she's a human so obviously she would have more you know realistic proportions and the actual outfit uh we saw in the poster but here it's more pink it's not as purpley so but that's okay it actually looks really cute um and I like that the, like she's wearing like a top underneath. It's like almost like a sweater looking t top and the pants uh, have like a print. It's not actually like texture, which is a shame. It's just a print with the stripes. Um, and then the shoes look really creative. Like they have a bunch of colors and the, the jacket looks like it, it even has some buttons on the sleeves. Um, so she does have a lot of details. Like out of the dolls we've seen so far, she has, she probably has the most pieces cause she has a jacket, a top and a pants. So that's really cool. And her hair is really cool as well i think she looks amazing um and uh she might be like on a smaller body or something i'm not sure but she might have a different body type um not sure just because her head does look a little bit larger weirdly enough but yeah she's cute. next we have the barbie in gold disco jumpsuit doll and she looks really really cool like i love that jumpsuit is obviously all gold but the main feature on a jumpsuit is the sequins they are sewn on not like you know randomly but they actually are sewn on in a specific pattern it actually matches the pattern that's seen on the jumpsuit in the real movie a lot it looks basically it's very accurate you know to the actual pattern so i love how they actually Actually kept that you know continuity here and then the heels are just so simple gold heels nothing too special but I do love the pants that they flare out at the bottom and then she does wear some you know bracelets some jewelry I appreciate the earrings as well no necklace which I kind of feel like even in a movie she could have used like a necklace or something because it is there's there is there is a lot of like you know chest space like in like a, like a lot of open space going on up top like there's nothing going on so I really feel like um a necklace would have really fit to fill in the space right there because it looks very empty you know uh but the main attraction for me besides the jumpsuit is the headpiece it's like a little clip on the actual doll it looks so cute it's so cute uh and i just hope it's not flimsy but it, she looks really cute otherwise also from that scene we have the simu liu ken doll wearing a uh white and gold tracksuit and he is the mattel creations exclusive doll so he's going to be only available at mattel creations i don't think you need to get like a membership you just have to get like he's only available to purchase on Mattel Creations. Thankfully, so there is no like a there isn't like a barrier of like a membership, which is good. Um, he looks really good. I think the face for him, he looks like Simu Liu, like the face, the eyebrows, the lips, the hair is very is very quaffed, as he would say in the video. Um, and shockingly, like they even put a really big emphasis on the um like beauty marks on his face, which is like at first I have to be honest, at first um I thought it was like a defect on the you know leaked pictures but i realized like no those are just representing his actual like beauty marks slash moles on his on his face so that's really uh, a nice little detail uh and it looks makes him look even more unique and uh you know accurate to the actual actor so the outfit is is very 
simple but i i appreciate the zipper that's probably the highlight for me it's very big and chunky and the gold ken lettering on the one side it, it like he looks very good i i very much think he looks good um what <laughs> but it's just the price like yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's a very simple outfit, so it kind of makes you feel like bad about the price. Now, here we have the fashion closet, which includes three outfits from the movie. It's like a little fashion pack. And here we can see the actual, you know, box and how the outfits will look like on the dolls. And I assume that when you open up the box, this is what it looks like inside. It has these two separate boxes where we can see the outfits inside it. So here we can see the first outfit, which is based on um, the more, like on the outfit that she wears in the actual B scene from the teaser where they all say hi ken hi barbie you know it's like very iconic um she's wearing a cute hat the like it's very accurate and i love how even the hat is fabric and she even has some shorts underneath her like little dress it's so cute i love it then this blue outfit we actually got to see in the trailer where you know she explains that her feet are now you know flat you know like the you know it's it's like that scene but also um the iconic scene where she's laughing in a car so that's also from that same outfit uh it looks really cute i mean it looks amazing i love the dress that little headscarf um and it it looks amazing like it really fits her well and then lastly we have this uh pajama set i'm assuming we only get to see one uh quick shot of her waking up in her bed in the trailer so maybe that's based on that outfit like again her pajamas uh so i can't really judge how accurate it looks like to the actual movie outfit but it looks really cute that's all i can say it looks really cute it's like a little two-piece her brush it's very simple but very adorable oh, and that fashion pack will cost again 50 as well now this car this convertible corvette car whatever it's a car girl it's just a car i'm not a cars fan obviously you can tell i really care <laughs> but it's it looks really nice with the doll inside it it looks like it i mean it definitely looks really amazing but like would you use this for like to play with the car probably not because again it costs like almost 80 bucks so you're probably not gonna buy it to then play with it to then like destroy it so this is probably not like a kid's item because again for the price point um it's more like a collector piece uh, for your dolls, which makes sense, I guess, because the dolls cost 50 a piece as well. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, if you're going to get the dolls and you feel inclined to get the car as well, just because of, you know, to take pictures. And I mean, you know, kind of makes sense. Be warned, there is also going to be a Hot Wheels X Barbie, you know, car that you can actually like remote control. It's really fun. That costs less. There's so there's two models. So just keep that in mind. There's there's two different models of the car. Uh, the, the Hot Wheels one uh, costs less and it still opens up like the door and you can still fit the dolls inside and you can even open up the trunk. So Honestly, like you might just want to get the Hot Wheels one because it's cheaper and it even moves. So that like there's two in one here and it's cheaper. <laughs> so, it's cheaper. It looks just as good as the other one. Um, and you can also play with it. So this makes more sense to me. <laughs> Remember, there are going to be a couple of retailer exclusives. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but I mean, yeah, these dolls literally just came out like less than a day ago. And uh, they're already sold out, some of them. And some of them are not available. So also depending on where you live. So I would just say if you want to get these dolls, just don't 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 worry about the FOMO. <laughs> don't worry about that right now. They, they just dropped. I, I feel like for me also, like I'm going to wait until I get them. Like I'm going to wait a couple months now until they really like hit stores you know like and like you know like they've been around for a while like and then i'll get them also because they cost money like they cost a lot of money so i'm gonna hopefully save up to get them because yeah they're gonna be even more expensive for international fans and you know speaking of the price um it sucks definitely but i mean it's Mattel. It's always going to be expensive, but also because of the actual movie, there's that. And then also because of the actual, you know, actors licensing, li likeness licensing, you know, like I'm pretty sure they're paying the actors also a cut of that money because they look like the dolls, technically, like they made the dolls inspired by the actors. I don't know how that works, but like I can definitely see why they're expensive. And keep in mind, there is also going to be a wave two of dolls coming out soon. So these are not all the dolls that we've seen so far. We're going to get the rollerblading Ken and Barbie dolls. We're going to get Ken in a fur coat. We're going to get Barbie in a, you know, 
suit. Uh, we're we're, we're going to get the Kate McKinnon doll, hopefully a Dua Lipa doll as well. Uh, so this is very fascinating. I'm very excited to see Dua Lipa because, I mean, you know, they're going to make her into a doll. They have to. They have to. They have to. They have to. Please, please, please. <laughs> so I'm just so excited for the movie itself. And the dolls look amazing. And yes, they're expensive. But like you can, at least you can see the detail and quality here. They they actually kind of, yeah, it's good. It's good. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> and that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and become a member today so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the little tea you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time stay peachy. Kisses.